What is up, guys, and welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Hope everybody has had a great week, uh, able to lock in some profits. Uh, so today we'll be going over top penny stocks under $1, so let's jump into it. Uh, first one we have on here is ticker sign AAU. Um, they had a week high of $1.02, so this was back on the 10th. <clears throat> it was up to a dollar and two cents, uh, but overall they're ending the week at a dollar at eighty four cents. Um, went up one cent uh, after or two cents after hours to end at eighty six cents. Uh, so not too bad metric for them. Uh, they are bearish, noted by moving average ten line being below the fifty and one hundred. So uh, in my opinion, they're bearish at the current moment, even though they're still going up. So this uh, rally that they had after hours is still a positive move upward, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, they are still bearish based off my indicator. So the next one on here, we have uh, the VWAP, uh, which is this lime green line. Uh, it is above the moving average 10, so they are uh, positive on that indicator. So I would say they're still uh, bearish at the current moment. Going to be looking for that moving average 10 line to go back up above the moving average 50 and 100, which is this yellow and this purple line. So those are my indicators uh, for if a stock is bullish or bearish. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump to some background information on the company. Um, now, this is their newest article, it's just from the 3rd of February. It's all public information. Uh, just you know, Google the company's ticker um, and then do press releases, and that's how I came up with this article on their website. Uh, but they have a project going on uh, that's going to be in 2021. So now, uh, this year, uh, basically going to be expanding uh, some of the things they're doing uh, with resources um, and, you know, like to see more updates on this uh, project. So this project is planned for 2021. Um, and that article came out on the 3rd of February in 2021, uh, so I expect to see more updates on that. If there are more updates, then I expect this stock to turn around uh, to become bullish. Uh, so price target for this one, I kind of have at a dollar. Uh, so having it at a dollar means that it will break through, the moving average 10 will break through this 50 and 100, um, and then it will become uh, bullish yet again. So I think a dollar uh, is kind of where I'm looking at uh, this stock potentially going. Just bear in mind. This is not financial information. This is just for educational purposes. So just bear that in mind um, when looking at this. If you'd like to contact a certified CPA, please do so in your um, local area. But this is just for educational purposes. Um, next, we have ticker sign GEN for Genesis Healthcare. Um, they have a week high of a dollar and eight cents. Uh, but if we scroll out a little bit more, it actually went up to $1.18, so that's kind of the highest that it's touched. Um, they are bearish as well at the time of this video. Moving average 10 is below 50 to 100, and VWAP is above moving average 10, but barely. Uh, so they are bearish as well. Um, but as far as you know, movement is concerned, it seems like they start off in a downward trend and then go up, and then downward and go up, and then go down. Uh, they ended the week at 93 cents. Uh, then after hours, still at 93 cents, so not much too much, not much movement from them. Going to be looking to see this VWAP shoot back up. Uh, if it does, then the stock will start to go back up as well. Also, bear in mind, it's from a perspective of Webull. So if you like to sign up for Webull and get two free stocks when you deposit $100 or more, I have a link down below uh, where you can sign up for Webull. Now, you don't have to sign up for Webull in order to be able to get access to their charts. That's the great thing about Webull. So if you just go to Webull.com, uh, you can access the charts of any stock uh, in order look similar to this one uh, the only thing you have to do is go to the 30 minute interval which is what I'm using and then add the moving average 50 uh, uh, the moving average 10 50 and 100 so these metrics right here will be the ones that you'll have to add then also you will have to add VWAP all of which will be located in this indicators tab when you uh, go to the website so um, just bear in mind it's from the 30 minute chart interval. If you use any of these other intervals, they will look different. I just like the 30 minute chart personally, uh, so that's the one that I like to use. Uh, background on them, we can see just press release wise uh, that they had began uh, to vaccinate uh, some of their staff um, and then they talked about the approval rates and some people who uh, had gotten it. So uh, quite a bit of their staff had been vaccinated. Uh, so that was uh, what they were given that update for. Um, and then also they had just raised money for uh, Alzheimer's Association walk. Uh, so this is like an um, older um, person, like retirement home uh, company. So um, they were one of the 
essential workers that were able to get the vaccine. Uh, so it's a very interesting article that they have on here, uh, February 3rd, where they're talking about acceptance rates, uh, just about the amount of nurses and workers who uh, got vaccinated, who worked there. Um, I think it was very interesting data that they had put out on that. And then also on here talking about um, the raising $11,000 for Alzheimer's. I think that's a pretty good uh, thing that they're doing uh, for the company as a whole. So definitely going to be looking for some more updates um, as far as a direction forward for the company, uh, potentially, you know, an update from the CEO or something like that uh, to see how they're going to um, transition into the new uh, way of working. They already started off by saying, you know, the people who are or the staff and residents being vaccinated, uh, but then I'd like to see, you know, strategic how uh, they will acquire more capital, are they building more facilities, things of that nature. Uh, so looking for an update for them. But overall, stock-wise, um, I think <clears throat> my target is going to be a dollar on this one as well. Uh, going to be looking to see this one uh, jump up to a dollar, so only a seven cent uh, gap up between the two. And if you look, uh, a dollar or a dollar one is where the current moving average fifty is. So just basically saying it's going to break through this moving average fifty to get to a dollar. So I'm not even looking at the dollar eighteen as a target. I'm just looking at the one dollar as a target price. Next, we have tickers on GTE for Grand Tierra Energy. Uh, they are bearish as well. Moving average 10 is below 50 at 100, and VWAP is above moving average 10, so positive on that metric, which means they may have some uh, potential to shoot back up. Uh, but overall, still uh, bearish on the name. Uh, VWAP, um, I mean, moving average 10 is below this 50 and 100, which is yellow and purple line, which seems to be converging around the dollar mark. Um, but if we zoom out uh, some more, we can see that their high is $1.22. Uh, so that's kind of their high for this uh, kind of level that they've been. So between the 5th of the, uh, February all the way till now, that's kind of been the highest that it's been. Um, so going to be looking at that level uh, for potential resistance in the future. Uh, background on them, uh, they do have an earnings coming up. It's going to be on the 25th, uh, so it's going to be their 2024 quarter um, and full year results, conference, and webcast details. Uh, so if you want to join, there's basically the number right here. Um, down at the bottom, it tells you the conference ID. If you're not familiar with what earnings are or how to jump into earnings, earnings is basically where a lot of people upper management level will come and talk about their projected um forward-looking statements, which basically is them talking about how they did uh, for this year, how they did in the fourth quarter, as well as some projects and things going uh, forward for the next uh, year and the next quarter. So it's a really good um, time to, you know, listen to all the different projects they have. You get all the financial information as well for the whole year, as well as for the quarter. Uh, so I think it'll be definitely good uh, if you have any free time uh, to listen to it or just to come back um, to it because they do release a press release uh, after uh, the actual conference itself and it'll give you all that information. So definitely will if you're new to investing in general and you don't know whether you you know would like a company or don't know what they do, uh, the press releases from the earnings definitely helps point you in the right direction as to what they do uh, as a company and if it would be a good stock for you or not. So definitely going to be looking uh, at that when it comes out on the 25th. Uh, but until then, uh, I have a price point of $1.20. Um, I personally think, you know, after that uh conference comes out uh it could have the potential to shoot back up uh to this a dollar and 20 metric um not the dollar 22 which is the week high but i think getting closer to the dollar 20 just only two cents a, uh, away is kind of a realistic uh metric in my personal opinion so uh definitely going to be looking at that as a price target and then lastly on here we have sugar sign act uh which it's almost the exact same as the gte uh, pattern stock so they're almost identical charts like if you look at this one this chart is almost the exact same as this ACST chart so um, gonna be having similar guidance on this one uh, just like the other one uh, but the only difference is uh, the press releases that are coming out. So on here we can see that their moving average 10 is below 50 and 100 uh, and VWAP is above moving average 10. Uh, so still bearish on the name overall. <clears throat> they ended the week at 93 cents. 
So not too bad of a metric uh, for them, but they will have to test this at $1.22 uh, cent level. So that's going to be the resistance for them as well, just like GTE. So ACST will have to test 122, uh, and it's from this similar range or around the fifth uh, to now. It's kind of hit that 122 and spiked, and then kind of went down since then. Uh, background information on them: they did have an earnings that came out. Their earnings actually came out on the ninth. <clears throat> they had a large loss, um, so their loss uh, was two million compared to a loss uh, from operations of six point one million from the three months ended in t December thirty first, twenty nineteen. Uh, the change was due mainly to a reduction in R and D in general um, and administrative expensive expenses. Um, and sales and marketing expenses. Uh, so they had a lot of expenses coming out of R&D uh, and then general and administrative. Uh, I feel like if they can get uh, that under control, find some new products uh, to market, then I think they could potentially turn that around. Um, and I will be looking at that target price. Now, going into this stock, um, since you know they already had an earnings, it's not really going to be a catalyst for their movement. Uh, have a price target is a dollar ten. So uh, you know, down from this a dollar twenty two level, and not really at the dollar twenty that I have GTE at. So I'm gonna say a dollar ten uh, is gonna be my price target. So just a little bit above um, where this moving average fifty line is, uh, which is at one looks to be at 104, 105. Um, so just a little bit above that, I think is a pretty uh, decent price target in my personal opinion. Uh, so make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me which stocks you guys are looking at for the week. Uh, make sure that thumbs up. This video is helping you uh, if you're getting any value out of it. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.